This is Twit. Well, I just started a new job in January. Congratulations. Thank you. I am managing designers who design for giftware and home furnishings for a wonderful company here in the U.S. Nice. Some of my designers are here in the U.S. Some are in China. Yep. And I thought, I just thought I'd be able to find a cloud that would host our <laughs> designs that we could share. <laughs> you <laughs> laughing. We're not a huge company. Wait a minute. There's no cloud service that works in China as well as the U.S.? I have we, My IT here and there hasn't been able to find anything. Wow. <laughs> now, remember, the Chinese government does block a lot yeah, of stuff. Yeah, that's the stuff. problem. They prohibit, uh, like, Dropbox, Google, um, and apparently a bunch of others and you know we do need a fair amount of memory for it so here's what i would take a look at ask your guys to take a look at uh, a cloud that you host and the chinese uh, designers would access it over the internet using https so that so that it would be secure unless they're using lenovo laptops but it would be secure um, i don't think the chinese government can or will block web traffic either http or https because that would basically take them off the internet so they're blocking specific yeah. things like you know dropbox but for them to drop to block http downloads would be almost impossible okay. or, or impractical so there's a product and just have your it guys look into it there's a product okay. i use called the transformer you host it it's your hard drive i use them at here and at home I have a one transformer here, one at home. Uh, it's made by the Drobo folks. And what what these have their own hard drives. There you can share publicly over the internet so your Chinese designers can access it. They can put files on it, but it's not in the cloud exactly. It's in your premises, which I think is better. It's fully encrypted. So it's encrypted between you and your designers. It's encrypted between you and your computer, you, you, between your computers and in it. Uh, it does automatic backup, automatic syncing. It does pretty much, their goal was to design a Dropbox that you host. And I think yeah. that's a really clever idea. It's, uh, uh, I think it, it's called the transporter. What I, I think I call it the transformer. It's a transporter. And I believe it's at filetransporter.com. Let me just check real quickly. They don't have transporter, but I think they have filetransporter.com. And if you go there, um, it's not very expensive. The way it works is you buy a $99 interface. Oh, actually, they have more stuff now. I haven't been there for a while. But one of the ways you can do it is they buy a $99 interface, will, uh, which will attach to any hard drive you have. So you said you have a lot of storage. You can do yes. terabytes. Yes. Which would, which would be prohibitively expensive on some of these other services. Right. Uh, but it allows you to share files. Uh, it's secure. It says privately share anything with everyone you want. I doubt very much this would be blocked by China. I don't think it could be. Furthermore, I don't think it could be cracked by China. It would give you some privacy. Nice. Filetransporter.com. Well, it's what I use, and it's for people who are paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> it's for people who say, I don't want to put uh, private, you know, if, for instance, if you're a physician, you have to really be careful about where patient records are stored. You can't allow oh, those right. to be accessed, right? So, right. You, so this is the kind of solution for somebody who really doesn't, you know, plus you only pay once, you pay 99 bucks and there's no additional fee. That's outrageous. <laughs> I know. That's great. I know. Oh, so I would get, go what I would do is get one, maybe here's one thing you could do is get one in China and one. Uh, at your premises and have them synchronize over the internet. Yeah. And then they would have full access to everything on that drive and you would have full access up to whatever the maximum size of a hard drive is these days. Many terabytes. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Let, get your IT guys on it to make sure it works with China. I'm, I, I know I, I'm not making that promise, but I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks Leo, for the thank call. You. I appreciate it. They do sell other devices that include hard drives, but I think the $99 one is great because you, you know, basically it's just a little dongle that provides that access. You plug it into your Ethernet port. I have one sitting right in front of me, and I have one at home, and I make sure they synchronize. And to the internet, five miles down the road or 10,000 miles across the world is the same. 
It doesn't, you know, that's that's the beauty of the internet.